Hey guys, my name is Abrams and in this video I'll be showing you how to unlock Zane. Now Zane is the operator in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. He is an allegiance operator and he is one of the hardest operators to unlock. Now, it won't be as hard if you watch this video, but basically the challenge you have to do to unlock him is that you have to complete all the Spec Ops operation. Now I'll show you some skins that I have for him. Personally, the way I've unlocked him before I've completed all of those operations was I had a season 2 battle pass and with the season 2 battle pass came that polarized skin. Now I also have a couple more skins that I can unlock because I still haven't completed all of the challenges from season 2 battle pass but yeah, they look kinda cool, I might unlock them sometimes but Zane is a really cool operator. He reminds me of like a basic African warlord, he's really cool. So the way you're going to do it is you have to win the special operations in COP. And you don't have to win those modified operations, you just have to win the Operation Headhunter, Kuala, Harbinger, Brimstone, Just Reward, Strongbox, Paladin and Crosswind. Now guys, on my channel I have a video on how to complete Operation Paladin and Operation Crosswind because I found Operation Paladin to be quite hard, Operation Crosswind not as much. <clears throat> So if you want to see how to complete those operations step by step, just go and watch a video on how to unlock Radeon or watch a video on how to unlock Otter. Now, if you have problems with any specific operations, then let me know and I will tell you what to do. Okay guys, now the basic rules. You're probably going to want to use Medic or you can use the other classes. Assault is good for taking down Juggernaut, so when you have a lot of Juggernauts against you, and you use the stopping power it's quite good using the heavy class is also quite good because it gives your team armor and yeah that's it now the munitions i suggest going with the juggernaut and sentry guns because you cannot go wrong with those two and you can get a chopper gun or a gunship but the bad thing about this is that they cost so many points and they are only for like 30 seconds maybe even less so they don't do that much damage but if you have a juggernaut it can last you a long time. Now, the weapons I'm using, it's the M4. It's the M4 that I use for every Spec Ops operation. It has Compensator, M16 Barrel, Ranger 4 Grip, Thermal Hybrid. Now, you don't need to use Thermal Hybrid, use whichever scope you like, but in some operations they're going to throw many smokes at you, so the Thermal Hybrid is really good. And I also use 60 round Magazine. Now, I use the M4 just because it's my favorite weapon. You can use whichever weapon you like, but use the weapons that are good, probably assault rifles, maybe SMGs, maybe LMGs, but I'm not really sure about that. Just use the weapons that you like the most and that way you can perform the best. No. I also use this range of fire grip, you can swap it for commando fire grip, whichever you like more. Second weapon is riot shield. And why I use riot shield, it's because when they shoot at you from back, that way you are defended. And Trust me, if you wear a riot shield, it's way easier to complete all those spec ops challenges. Now the perks. I'm using scavenger because since I'm using all of my munitions, because I usually carry two sentry guns and one chucker node, I cannot pick up some weapon crates and ammo crates, so I have to carry scavenger so I can pick up ammo. Then I carry overkill because I can use the shield on my back and then I have tune up because I always play medic and the more times you can use the medic ability, which is to revive everyone, the better. I also use claymore and steam. And that's basically my loadout. And yeah, guys, I suggest playing with friends because doing this solo will be extremely hard and it will take you a long time. So if you have three friends, then go ahead and play with them. If you don't, then write it a command and maybe somebody can team up with you and maybe you can play together. And you need to complete eight operations. You don't need to complete the modified ones. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please hit a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.